somebody else with a Saturn and Aries because we both going to go through hell together. Or I need to find somebody that actually is compatible with this Saturn and Aries. So who else better than a, than a person that is exalted that can teach me balance within my Saturn, which is totally debilitated. So I won't suffer. I'm going to attach myself to somebody that benefits me in that way. And I will make sure that I benefit them in this, and, and with all my gifts. And I don't want to take something that I'm not receiving. This is compatibility. See, if you knew who you was, then you would know what's compatible for you. For you, you know what I mean? And also, you have to study your North Node. Your North Node will tell you where your destiny and where you're headed. Your Saturn return is very important. Almost more important than your birthday. See, Saturn return is when you start taking your purpose seriously for even existing saturn is satan but satan it has a purpose to actually put you in alignment with what you're supposed to do so saturn is your father who's representing discipline restriction not letting you get your way and you reason you you wondering why you're not getting money and you wondering why you're not being successful and you wondering why you're not getting the things and the loved ones you're getting because saturn is restricting you if you study your saturn i bet you you're going to see like oh shit the reason why I'm fucked up in the game is because my Saturn. Because Saturn will be the cause of why the reason why you don't get what you're asking for. And then you have to wait until your Saturn return. And if you don't know this, then you'll go through hell for no reason and you'll be unconscious of why you're going through the hell you're going through. You got to study your natal chart. You got to study your North Node because your North Node is telling you what you must become in this lifetime. It's your destiny. You understand? So your North Node is very important to understand the house that it's in, the sign that it's in. And you got to understand that. The reason why you're going through the shit you're going through is because you're in resistance to your North Node. You're, you're still in your South Node. Your South Node is basically your past life. And you have not let those ways go. And so you're struggling to go into your North Node. And if you study your North Node, then you'll understand, wow, okay, my North Node is the reason why my life is in shambles. But I can't even come into my North Node until Saturn, my Saturn return. That means my Saturn return don't come around to another five years. So look at this. I'm going to be struggling. But the struggle is going to teach you things that's going to condition you to come into your North Node. See, people don't understand the problems in their life and why they're having them. Because if you did, you would feel a lot better. You would feel a lot better. You know what I'm saying? You would feel a lot better if you knew why things was happening to you. Can I say it a lot? Yeah, I'm going to save them. They all going to be in the um in my IGTVs. If they're not on the page, it's because I took them off the profile because they just look crazy on my profile, the lives. But they're going to be in my archives as far as the IGTVs. You can go back and get them. But study your Saturn. Um, ladies, understand that just because you have masculine energy, you still need to find a man smarter than you. You're going to be happy when you find a man that can teach you things, that can elevate your mind, and don't settle. Stop letting niggas in your body. Your body is a temple. If a nigga can't get in your mind, don't let him in your body. Period. You understand? The man for you is going to be able to manipulate your mind. I'm going to say it again. The man for you is going to be able to manipulate your mind before your body. You understand? So if you are being a virtuous woman, then you're going to have to have the discipline because you got to understand your eggs are sending off signals that are telling you to mate. And a lot of your decision makings are influenced by the hormones of the eggs that, that are produced in your body. You got to be smarter than the human nature. Your human nature is against you in some ways put in a certain unnatural environment, your own human ways can go against you. So you have to realize your eggs are constantly telling you to mate and to, and to get pregnant. That's your human nature. But you're not in a position to get pregnant because you're in an unnatural environment and you have to found the natural setting. You're not in a natural family in your natural environment where it's okay for you to mate and all of this stuff. You were put in hell. You were born in a nickety. So you can't, your nature is actually going against you. You understand? So you have to be smart enough to know that. What up, TT? You have to be smart enough to know that 
it's your hormones that are telling you to have sex and find a mate and influencing you to get into the situation that you got into. A lot of y'all women are just hot and not even knowing you're in heat because your eggs are sitting off hormones. But if you have not had a guide or someone to tell you, hey man, you're in hell. You're not in your natural environment. It's not okay for you to just have pleasure, pleasure, pleasurely sex because you're not in a natural setting. Now, if you was in a natural setting, then it was all good. Then it was like, yo, you know, it's all good. But no, go that thing out. You know, beautiful, noble, hey, fuck, have sex, eat, chill. Like, you know, no, 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 no. You can't do this. You're not in a natural environment. They got money in this environment. You know what I'm saying? They putting your kids in school in this environment. Like, when you think of having sex, think of a baby. And then when you think of a baby, think about the environment you having sex in and the baby, what the baby gonna have to be subjected to. Like, soon, you got you can't look at sex as regular. You gotta look at sex like baby. Baby. Right? So although you wanna be chose because women are women are the pick me's, pick me. This is what women are doing. Choose me. Pick me, and let me see if I want you. This is what women are doing when they post the pictures of their booty out, their titties out. It's just, it's their nature to send their mating call. They don't even realize they're doing this. They'll say, oh, I just thought this was a pretty picture. But a woman will send a, a, a mating call out to see how many men she can catch to take her picking from the men that she get in her inbox and then find the one that's most fit to mate with. But none of these niggas is fit to mate with. Because none of these niggas is smarter than you. None of these niggas is capable. And none of these niggas is qualified for you to let it lock inside your mind, let alone your body. You just want a cute relationship. You just want somebody that, oh, feels good and looks good. You know, it feels good to me. I want somebody for me. And you in a hurry to get that because your paternal clock is ticking. It's saying, your age is saying, girl, we need to... We need these shits fertilized. Fertilize me. And you start making decisions from your hormones and being influenced by your hormones. And then before you know it, you had a baby with a nigga that you not, you not only you don't respect, but you don't respect him. You don't like him. And you don't even know why the fuck you was fucking with him. See, now if you don't have a father figure or a masculine energy that can restrict you from doing so, like a Saturn energy in your life that restricts you, that says no and tells you why you shouldn't do that, then at the end of the day, you'll end up with two, three baby fathers. You know what I'm saying? With random kids. And let me tell you something. Your relationship with the male will, relation, will reflect, your relationship with the child will reflect the relationship you have with that male. Because ultimately you are recreating and giving this man a soul again. You will let him reincarnate through you. So what you got to understand is, if you don't get along with that man, you're not going to get along with that child when they get older. So therefore, you're creating chaos, and now you're sitting here with a, with, a, with an 18-year bid, and y'all in prison with these children, and it's making life harder for you. And what the male do? The male just walks away like it ain't nothing, and he's living his life like it ain't nothing. Then you put him on child support, and it's a trap that he go to prison and all of this is all because niggas couldn't understand that you was living in an unnatural environment and an unnatural setting against your own nature. Same thing with the male. The male seed is constantly trying to find something to plant itself inside of. You have to understand the purpose of the body is to carry the brain. That's why you have legs and arms. The whole purpose of the body is to carry the brain. When you go to sleep, you're not really sleeping. You really awake your whole life. Sleep is just your body's way of processing what's been uploaded. We're like computers. The brain is uploading information. And then when you sleep, you download and process that information. It's like digesting it. You understand? So the purpose of the body is to carry the brain around, to collect information, to collect experience. So that it's not how much you can gain in life. It's how much you can become. So your brain is trying to collect enough knowledge for you to become the supreme being that you're supposed to be. That's the purpose of your existence. So once you understand the purpose of your body, you feed your body, the purpose of your body is to carry the brain. 
The purpose of the brain is to collect information, to store it, to take the information, to process it when you sleep, then digest it, then understand it, and then grow. And then utilize that information so that you become a higher being. You become more. You can't become more doing repetition and doing the same things over and over. You have to learn and process your mistakes. You can't keep doing this. And so we evolve. And the things that we don't evolve in in our lifetime, our children usually take it on to evolve it because we're unable to do it. So we use reproduction to evolve our brain. So we pass on information, and that information goes into a new vessel, and then it, 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 it learns from our past mistakes genetically and then evolves. So what you have to understand is we have to stop worrying about how much we can have and obtain. And we need to focus on how much we can become. You understand what I'm saying? And I know you might feel like, well, I can't become much in this world without money. So we chase money and the idea of becoming more because we have more freedom when we have money to do what we want, to gain what we want, to travel, to actually collect more information if we have money because this world is ruled by money. But what you don't know is a secret called cosmic currency, which means because you are the god of the universe, money is just a tool and everything is magnetism and attraction so you can attract everything you need which to you once you believe that it's coming to you. You don't have to move a finger because the laws of the universe is based on attraction. If you are aligned with your purpose, everything you ever need will come to you as you need it. But instead of we chasing our purpose, we chase money, which actually puts us in a loop, in a trap, which actually puts us on a rat wheel and makes us lose focus on actually what we need to do to be to be in our purpose. So instead of finding knowledge of self and seeking